All right, Mia, just uh, for, what did you learn from last year now, having played that first year in the Big 12? I know that there's new members and things, but now having gone through that and now be here for year two, what, what are some things you take from last year you want to apply this year? Yeah, I mean, as Tiff has mentioned before, being in the Big 12 last year has definitely prepared us a little bit more for this year, kind of figuring it out, figuring out who our opponents are and their style of play. So as Chloe mentioned before, we have film now, we have film from playing against these opponents from their last past games this past season. And I think that's something that we can take into this season for sure. But I've been consistently saying that being in the Big 12 that first year was definitely nerve wracking and exciting. And we did super well finishing sixth at the end of um, regular season, which is super important you know, for us and for UCF in general. But um, going into the second year, it's a huge opportunity to show team consistency. And I think that almost the second year into a new conference is as important as the first, for sure. Coach talked about your, uh, or talked about this attacking group and lauding, you know, depth and all, all of that. From your perspective, what has it been like working with this attacking group, you know, with Eddie and Emily there? Yeah, I mean, I've gotten the opportunity to get to know Eddie, Chloe, and um, Emily on a personal basis, and they're all amazing human beings, and ath they're extremely athletic and talented players. So, you know, coming from a player of my position with having them three in front of me, it's it, it kind of adds to the fire. It adds to my own personal confidence, knowing that I have very talented players in front of me, and it's honestly really exciting um, to think of all the potential goals that we can have and you know opportunities that we can create for each other within the next matches coming up. You have a lot of creativity in your game. How does that uh, fit in with a very possession-based style? Yeah, I think that there's a balance, honestly. Um, you know, like Chloe, Ani, and Tip had mentioned, the priority is to, you know, perform well tactically and keep possession and try to win the game that way and obviously putting the ball in the back of the net. But I think that there, in women's soccer in general, there has been, you know, a huge evolution of just adding creativity in the game. And I think that that will continue to evolve. And so that's one of my own priorities is to continue to just enjoy it and kind of just remember why I started playing in the first place. And so, you know, to answer your question, in connection to UCF playing style, creativity, I mean, the environment that we have here, it, it fosters creativity. Tiff and Tim um, and, on, and Coach K as well, you know, um, coming, coming in as kind of an assistant coach and he played on the Japanese national team. He's given so much to this team in terms of creativity and especially in the attacking third. So um, I think that at UCF on the women's soccer team, creativity is fostered constantly and it's encouraged. So sometimes you just can't help it. <laughs> Describe, you mentioned Coach Tiff. I mean, you know, 1999 World Cup team celebrations on the Today Show, been with the U.S. national team as a coach and as a player. What's it like being around her and playing for her, you know, somebody as significant of a, as she, a stature that she has in the sport? Yeah, I mean, I knew coming in um, my freshman year, I committed my freshman year of high school, which was like a lifetime ago, mm -hmm. but um, knowing who she was, even before all this, um, you know, media with the 99ers and even before she went to go coach with the team and the World Cup, like I knew going in and becoming a part of this team that Tiff was going to be a critical part of my personal and player development. And so I can, I, I'm pretty positive that everybody feels the same exact way. Tiff and Tim, you know, especially Tiff has given so much to this team in terms of understanding the game and finding out who you are as a player and like what your strengths are, what you can work on. And so her coaching style is, su I mean, it's admirable. Um, I definitely want to coach later down the line. So having her as a role model, you know, has been super important to me to kind of see um, how you can be a successful coach. And so, yeah, it's just been ama an amazing experience. And I'm so glad I get to be here for two more years and learning even more under her. Um, yeah, it's, it's been really, it's been a really good experience so far. Chloe talked about, for one or two more. Chloe talked about the senior leadership on the squad, talked about you being very vocal on the team. You talk about wanting to be a coach. Is that kind of where that kind of vocal comes from or just talk about your leadership style? 
Yeah, honestly, I've always been like a really hyper kid. Um, I've definitely calmed down over the years, but um, I think that's kind of where it stems from a little bit. Um, I've always been kind of like, I'm, a, I'm very much an energy person and I kind of like pick up on other people's energy. So if I see somebody's down, like I immediately like feel the need to want to help cheer you up. Um, but, you know, I think that having a vocal leader on the team is super important and significant for team performance. I think that often we notice that sometimes pra like in practice when we're like all kind of like quiet and like sluggish a little bit, the practice doesn't go as well as we, you know, we want it to. But as soon as everybody's kind of like locked in and hyping each other up and whatnot, um, it's just a, a better practice overall. So um, I've kind of taken it up taken it amongst myself to make sure that we constantly have that energy and I'm not the only one that does that there's so many different players on our team that bring that energy and you're going to see that um, we're just a team that has energy in general it's not just me and I definitely wanted to mention that you know as Chloe had mentioned before we do like as captains we have a perfect balance of you know what a team needs like she had mentioned before Ani's super passionate and like a lot of players look up to her because I mean, she's just such a dedicated player and she brings a lot to this team. And I know that Chloe mentioned that she like doesn't know what her role is, but her role is she leads by example, 100%. Um, her, co her consistency and performance and just her ability to just put the ball in the back of the net, like at, almost at the craziest moments, like nobody expects it sometimes, but like now that we know Chloe and we know her as a player, you see her at the top of the box, it's a goal, point blank period. And so I think that even with just us three being captains, there's a good balance, but there's also a good balance within other players on the team too and what they bring to the squad as well. Are you excited to watch the gold medal match this weekend? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I'm, I definitely would say that I'm um, not necessarily surprised, but I'm super excited to see Brazil um, in a final again. I feel like as a young soccer player growing up, you know, you kind of idolize Brazil, even though, you know, a lot of us are from the States um, and you idolize um, the United States women's soccer team as well. But Brazil has definitely a different type of playing style, a little bit, um, you know, more like edgy, more like creative. Um, but we're seeing a lot of that on the U.S. women's national team as well. And so, like, I think it's going to be a really good match, not to just watch, but to learn from. Um, and I'm super excited. Obviously, you know, being from the States, I would love for the U.S. to win the gold. Um, and I've personally been learning a lot from the, you know, the trio, as they're calling them, Sophia Smith, Trinity Rodman, Mallory Swanson. Um, as an attacking player, it's been super amazing to see them succeed. And, you know, also being, um, a, you know, um, a woman of color, seeing them too. Um, succeeding and kind of representing, you know, that community. So it's been it's been amazing and to see women's soccer evolving consistently. What's the difference between the twenty twenty three me? What's the difference between twenty twenty three Mia Senho versus the one we're seeing right now going into twenty four? Yeah, um, I mean not to like be repetitive, but I mean confidence. It's I, a lot of your personal agenda correlates with your team's agenda. And so confidence has been a huge thing for us as a team. Um, but I definitely would say for me, along with confidence would be consistency. Um, it's something that I've 100% um, continued to work on. And I hope that I can come into this season being a more consistent player for UCF. You know, I've played a lot of minutes and I've gotten a lot of experience. And so that kind of like correlates into confidence. And I think that, you know, I mean, my ACL injury was so long ago, it was back in 2021, but even, but even now, I started to realize that you, you almost don't even get your full confidence back coming back from an injury like that until, until now. I haven't gotten it full, fully back until just recently. And I mean, that's, that's its own problem in itself as people talk about the recovery of an injury like that but nobody talks about afterwards. And that that's the hardest part. And so I've been in a, an amazing environment, having, having amazing teammates around me and the coaching staff and even sports medicine at UCF has been, you know, critical for my development. And so I 100% would say confidence 2023 Mia. 
and 2024, Mia, I'm way more confident than I ever have been. And, you know, that has come with experience and also having the opportunity to train with, you know, the pros and, and whatnot. So um, I'm super excited to see what I have to prove this year. And I kind of have an idea of it, but we'll definitely see what happens. Awesome. Best yeah. of luck, Mia. Thank you, Thank guys. You. Thank you. Thank you.